This question was given to kids 7 to 10 years old. The problem reads, how many times the digit 1 appear in the following calculation? So what they're asking is, if you add up all the numbers, 9, 99, 999, 9999, until we end up having 29s, add it all up, how many 1s are there going to be? This particular question was given to kids about 7 to 10 years old in Seoul, South Korea. And even more crazy is that it was on an entrance exam to enter a tutoring center for advanced math. So to do this question, you might be thinking, let's just put in the calculator and count the ones. Not a big deal. Can't do. Because of the number of digits that we have, or because of the fact that numbers are so big, a calculator cannot do this calculation. Now, what about if we put it in the um, Google? What if we have Google or AI do it? You would need a special computer or a software or program to do this question because if you do this, again, because of the number of digits that we have, there will be an overflow and you won't be able to do this question. Then how would you do this? Let's try this method. What if we do 9 plus 99 and we get 108? And let's see what's going on. Let's see if we see a pattern. And then if we do the first three numbers, 9 plus 99 plus 999, we get 1107. So we're thinking, if we add the first two numbers, we get 1, 1, which is one less. If we add the first three numbers, we get two ones. Again, one less. And let's do one more and see if this works again. So if we add the first four numbers, we get 11,106, we get three ones. So we're thinking, ah, oh, we got this. If we add four numbers, we get three ones. If we add five numbers, we're going to get four ones. If we add 20 numbers, we're going to get 19 ones. Problem solved. Not so. Because of the fact that when we add, 10 or 11 numbers, this pattern discontinues. It doesn't work anymore. So this is not the correct method. Again, 19 well, is not the right answer. Let's try this. Given the problem, let's go ahead and add 1 to a 9, where we get a 10. Again, we'll go ahead and add 1 to 99, second number, and we get a 100. And we'll do it again where we add 1 to 999 and we get 1,000. Same thing, add 1, we get 10,000. Or notice the 4 is zeros. And then we'll go ahead and add 1 to the very last number and we get this huge number with 20 zeros because we have 20 nines right here. If you add one more, you're going to have 20 zeros with a 1 in the front. Once we have this, we'll go ahead and set it up vertically to see what's happening. So we started by adding 1 to each and every one of the numbers. Remember, the very last number had 20 nines, which means we have 20 numbers in the problem. Again, that means we have added 1 20 times. So let's keep that in mind. We have added 1 to each and every number or 20 of them. And if I add up and down, we ended up getting this. Then we'll continue by writing these numbers down vertically, where the first number will be 10, second number will be 100, the third number will be 1,000. Notice how we line up the numbers so that we have the units digit along the same vertical line. And then the next number will be 10,000, and the next will be 100,000. I will continue the process until we have the very last number, the one with the 20 zeros. Then, what we want to do is add up the units digit of all the numbers that we have, but notice that it's going to be 0 all the way down. So if we add the units digit or the number on the right, it's going to give us a 0. Next, we have a 1 here. And then the rest numbers are 0 underneath. So we're going to have a 1 right there. 
Next, we have a one here. And again, if I add vertically like this, the rest numbers are zero, giving us a one here. And I think you see the point or the pattern by now in that next one, again, the one, and then the rest numbers are zero. So we have a one here, and this will continue like this, where we're going to have ones all the way throughout, like this. Then how many ones do we have at this point? Well, we have 20 zeros right there. So, and a one in the beginning. So we have 20 ones in the pattern right now. Is that the answer? No. Remember, we're not adding 10, 100, 1,000, 1, 10,000. We're adding 999, 999. The sum that we have here is not the final sum. Rather, we need to go ahead and subtract the numbers that we added from this sum. So what we have to do is we need to go ahead and subtract 20. Again, we added 1, 1, 1, 1. 20 times. So we added an extra 20. So from the sum that we have here, one with the 20 ones, this number right here, we're going to subtract the 20 ones that we added in order to get this number here, the ones with the zeros. So if we subtract, then zero minus zero is zero. Here, 11, 11 minus two is nine. And then, of course, since we borrow the 1 from here to subtract the 2, we now have a 0 right there. And there's nothing else underneath. So the 1s on the left will come straight down, like so. Since we had 20 1s here, but 2 of the 1s have been eliminated from the final sum that we have, so if we take 20, take away the two extra ones that we have, then we end up getting the final answer or the correct answer of 18 ones. You don't need a special formula. Um, you're not supposed to use calculators. Well, calculators aren't um, gonna be helpful. To do this question, you have to use the fact that when you add a 9 to a 1 or 99 to a 1, it ends up being a 100 or 1,000 ones with the zeros rather than the ones with the 9s, and then take away the extra ones that you added at the end. So here's an example of what the kids in South Korea are doing before they go to middle school. Mm -hmm.